Hi, today I will show you how to download Google Chrome to your Amazon Fire Stick or Android TV. First of all, you have to get an app called Downloader. There is a really high chance that you already have it on your device. And if you do and you properly set it up, you can just skip to the next part of this video. Otherwise, watch this part of the video as well. So you can download the Downloader from the Amazon App Store for free. Just go to search and start typing Downloader here. As you can see, it already popped out here at the bottom for me, but if you didn't in your case, then you should just type in the whole name of the app, which is once again the loader. Then click on it, and here's the application which you need to download. But that's not it, you also have to properly set it up. To do so, we gotta go to settings by clicking on that gear icon in the right part of the screen, then scroll down to the bottom, click on My Fire TV. Go to developer options here, make sure to enable ADB debugging. Then we go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the downloader as well. However, there is also a chance that the developer options are going to be hidden on your Fire Stick or Fire Cube, but that's not a problem. It's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and click on the middle button on your remote for seven times. And do it fast. Let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see the developer options. So click on them, ADB debugging, install on apps, turn it on. So actually what it does, it allows the downloader to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily from the official Amazon App Store, because you probably know that Amazon App Store sucks in terms of browsers and majority of other apps too, and there is no a proper web browser here, at least not everyone. Now, the downloader is properly set up and ready to use, but there is one thing which I really recommend doing before accessing the loader. To be transparent, it's not mandatory, but I really recommend doing it. It's of course connecting to a VPN, there is a lot of different VPNs out there, but I do recommend NordVPN because they're fast and they got a great app for Fire Sticks and other devices as well, such as your mobile phones, your laptop, PC, or any other device. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. So what a VPN does, it hides all the things that you do online. So your landlord or your internet provider will not be able to tell what apps, what websites you're accessing online, and that really comes in handy. NordVPN is also great for blocking apps, blocking malware, especially when loading files, and accessing geo-blocked content. So if some content is not available in your country, you can just open VPN, connect to a different location, and you will be able to access that content now. So if you want to get a VPN, you can use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video. If you use my link, you'll get one month of NordVPN totally for free, which is a great deal. Once again, using a VPN is not mandatory, but it's a big plus if you don't want your internet provider or your landlord to know what you're doing. Next, we open the app. You see a search bar here. Here in the search bar, you have to type Chrome, Android, and load those three words and press on next. Find that search result and click on it. and then press on that green download button and then click on that white download button not the green one but on the white one now the download has started then you need to click on install in the right bottom corner and now the installation process has started and then before actually clicking on the open button you gotta press done and here we're doing it this way so we could delete the installation file because we don't need it anymore, but it takes a lot of space on your device. So always delete your installation files. Click on delete here and once again delete. Now, if you go to the list of apps on your device, you will see Chrome here and you might think, hey, I'm ready to start browsing, but not actually. If you just open the app, you won't be able to press the buttons here. So what you also need is a mouse toggle app here it is. Here we can enable the mouse toggle for our Fire Stick and basically use a mouse cursor to easily navigate the apps and web pages. And I also do have a tutorial on how to set up a mouse toggle 
and it's going to be right here on the screen so you should definitely watch it after you finish this video now if you go to home it might open just fine or might give you an error message where you just need to click on continue and just open the app anyway now we enable the mouse toggle and here we go we can finally use the google chrome on your amazon fire stick or any android tv